tonight. Of course, the late Daryl Kyle on the minds of the Cardinals. Matt Morris, Barry Bonds is on the mind of him. You don't want to let him beat you. You know, maybe during the year you feel bad about walking him so many times, but if um, he gets up with runners on, I have an opportunity to pitch around him. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, Kenny Lofton was on third with two outs when this happens. First pitch, hey, that's outside. Second pitch, third pitch, that's not even close. A walk to Barry Bonds by Matt Morris. Next batter, Benito Santiago. That'll show him. A slow roller, an infield hit, and that scores Lofton. One nothing Giants. Lofton would be the story in this ball game. Same score, Kenny Lofton on first, Rich Aurelia. Lofton is safe at second, a stolen base. Aurelia still at bat. Lofton running. An RBI base hit to right, that scores Lofton. It's 2 nothing Giants. See what I mean about Kenny? You'd think he was in a Cleveland Indian uniform. Two batters later, Bonds with runners on first and second. He loves that hanging curve by Matt Morris. Battle score Aurelia and Jeff Kent. It's a triple. He had two of those during the regular season. This is his second career postseason triple for Bonds. Morris surrendered six straight hits. That two-run triple for Bonds, the big blow. Top of the third, two out. It's 5-1 when Lofton does that. For the love of elevation, his first home run of the postseason. He's just poured it on these. Cardinals take another look look at Lofton what do you think is he admiring his swing way too much top of the fifth one out none on David Bell gone his first this postseason that'll be it for Matt Morris 10 hits and four plus innings of work and here comes Tony La Russa to relieve Morris Giants up 7-1 one out later here comes Ken first pitch high and tight and Lofton takes exception thought he was being thrown at Benches would clear, tempers would flare, Lawson was restrained, Bonds would get into it with Eduardo Perez. Baker, La Russa had a few choice words. They were best of friends the other day. Take a look at exactly what happened. Lofton thinks the pitch is coming at him and he just blows up in a bad way. Lofton would fly out, Sean Dunstan talking to him about that. Bottom five, one on, two outs. Albert Pujols, not to be denied, a two-run homer. Cards, though, still down by four, seven to three. But let's compare home run swings by Kenny Lofton and Albert Pujols. Both admiring their Rockets. Not much of a difference in that admiration, is there? Top six. Hey, who's that guy again? Walks on a 3-2 pitch. Next batter, Benito, making him pay. That's gone. Two-run homer, Santiago's fourth RBI of the game. Giants win 9-6. Lofton goes two for four. He's now batting 374 with eight runs scored this postseason. The six homers hit in this game, the most ever in a playoff game at Bush. Miguel Cairo, just a fill-in for Scott Rowland? Sure. Seven for eight is a stand-in. He now has hits in his last eight postseason at bats, dating back to last year, tying the all-time record held by Reggie Jackson and Billy Hatcher. But in the end, it was a Giants victory. And after the game, the players focused on the brushback pitches. We were kicking their butts at the time, and they just had to do something to try to uh, upset me or piss me off. But that's, that's what they did. If there had been a thing, then somebody would have thrown some blows or something. There was no thing. We had a, you know, we had a discussion. Yeah, we're still friends, but on the field, we're, you know, we're competitors. I mean, you have a, a, a heated discussion with your wife. That means you don't love her anymore. You know, that's, that's just part of, that's part of competition and part of the game. It's a trick I've seen them pull before. Caused a lot of stirring around and people saying nasty things to each other. I mean, he's done that before. You throw the ball inside and he, he's always reacting like you're trying to hit him. Tony La Russa, of course, referring to Kenny Lofton. Benito Santiago, one of the best offensive outputs in Giants postseason history. The eighth player in franchise history to record a four-RBI game in the playoffs. The fourth to do so in a championship series game. Will Clark holds the team record for most RBI in a playoff game. He had six in the Giants' 11-3 win over the Cubs in 89. For Woody Williams making his first start in 20 days, warming up. Before the game there, second batter of the game, Rich Aurelia, and there's a man in the room. Third shot to leave the park this postseason for Aurelia. Giants up one nothing. Meanwhile, Jason Schmidt brought some electric stuff to the mound. Jim Edmonds first inning, swinging. Cards go down in order. Bottom two, Albert Pujols first batter. Pujols swinging. 
Top three, one up the Giants. Barry Bonds facing Williams. With a man on, swinging just his second strikeout in 28 at bats this postseason. Bottom three, two runners on for Fernando Vinu, who came into the game hitting 450 in the postseason. And it's a fly ball to center. Kenny Lofton with the catch. J.D. Drew testing the arm, but those who are late do not get through Cobb. Lofton gets the Giants out of the inning. Nice tag by Santiago. Jason Schmidt back on the mound, back to work. Miguel Cairo equally as red hot as Vina. Easy 6-3 put out for Aurelia. Next batter, Jim Edmonds. Right back at you. The 1-3 put out. Next batter, Albert Pujols. Swinging. Schmidt will retire. Batters in order. Five of the first six innings. Top five, it's Rich Aurelia again. And no, really, there's a man in the room. Two-run shot, second of the game, fourth of the postseason. Giants up 3-0. That's your score, bottom seven. Two runners on for Edgar Renteria. Schmidt goes to work. Pours in a first pitch strike. Gets Renteria fishing on strike two, and then strike three. Six strikeouts in seven innings for Schmidt. Bottom eight, J.D. Drew swinging. Next batter, Mike Matheny. Walking. Next batter, pinch hitter, Eduardo Perez. Got it. The Cardinals finally touch Schmidt. And it's a 3-1 game, and that would end Schmidt's night. Seven and two-thirds, four hits, eight strikeouts. Two batters later, Rob Nen comes on with a runner on to face Miguel Cairo hitting 636 in the postseason. A little excuse me. Ramon Martinez, who came on as a double switch for Nen, replacing Aurelia. Nice play to get the Giants out of the inning. Top nine runners on the corners for Martinez, who executes the suicide squeeze to perfection. Bringing in J.T. Snow was two for four on the night and plates an insurance run for the Giants. Bottom nine, man on for Edgar Renteria facing Nen, and the 97 Marlins series reunion ends with a game-ending 6-3 put out, and the Giants win 4-1. to one. Cards become the eighth team to lose games one and two of an LCS at home since the format was expanded to seven games 17 years ago. The seven previous teams to lose those games all eventually lost the series. Schmidt was brilliant, tossing 82 of his 119 pitches for strikes, and the Giants lead a postseason series 2-0 for the first time since 1954. And once I got on the mound, and I had to tweak a few things in my windup this time, you know, and, and uh, just went out there and tried to throw strikes, you know, more than anything. It wasn't anything special. Uh, just, just made it simple and, and went after guys. At first, you always look for a split. Uh, once we won game one, you come back to the park today and you think about, hey, we can win game two and go up 2 nothing and go home to our home park where, you know, our fans will be, you know, rooting for us and where we play pretty well. So I, I, I think tonight was a huge game for us. Born in Brooklyn, representing the Giants. Rich Aurelia is on the verge of having the greatest postseason in the history of shortstops. He starts kindergarten this fall. Barry Bonds, he's there as well. Bottom first, Benito Santiago grounds. Edgar and Taria. Uh oh, wait, we've got a problem. Let's go back and look at this again. About eight yards off second base. Bases are now loaded because, well, Vina, the second baseman, didn't cover the bag. And that isn't his job description as the second baseman. Even though they had to touch it, though. The bases are loaded with two outs. In the shallow center field. Out is Vina. In is Edmund. Reggie Sanders, no. Vini's back there to grab that from Jimmy Edmonds. Look at that again, and cards, get out of that one. Sanders, hitless in the series, 0 for 9. Chuck Finley, he's pleased. Bottom two, Barry Bonds with the bases loaded. Second pitch, took ball one, then jumped on the 1-0 pitch. J.D. Drew pushes Vini out of the way and gets him. I just want to point out, Edmonds actually caught that ball, not Vini. So that was fixed. Saving. All done. <laughs> done, thank you. Cardinals up 4-1. Bottom five, two on for Barry. Well, now, I believe he's going to hit a homer. The 1-0. Swing out, fly ball, right on back in right field, and gone into the cone. That was Bonds, a three-run shot. We neglected, just kind of glossed over Edmonds' home run, like with his catch, too. I'm not doing Jim Edmonds justice, and he has my apologies. Bonds knew it was gone. Guy in the kayak was out there to catch it. Bonds kisses the kids. Top six, Eli Marrero. Jay with Tosic. That's a home run. Marrero solo shot. Cards up 5-4. They had three solo shots in this game. Andy Bennis, he's excited because he gets to pitch on Sunday. Bottom seven, one out. Base is empty for Bonds. We'll intentionally walk him. Runners at first and second with one out. Next batter, 
Benito Santiago. There's a drive. Nobody can get him safe all around. Bases are loaded. Next batter, Reggie Sanders. Reggie singing a, swinging a mean stick, except in this series, without a hit. Fierce, high heat, no chance. Sanders 0 for 4 at that point with a couple out. Next batter, JT Snow against Steve Klein. It's a very ugly hat. Apparently the smell threw him off. Vina handles that one. Inning over, cards up 5-4. Izzy, Jason Isringhausen comes out Izzy. for the night. That's what you call him in the sports <laughs> casting biz. Barry Bonds, he walks. There's a winning run to the plate. Oh. Santiago will not win the game there. Two outs, and then poor Reg. I don't mean to pick on the guy, but he's 0 for 5 and 0 for 13 now in the series. Flying out to J.D. Drew. Vina stays out of the way wisely. And Cad and Kyle, high fives to the Cardinals. Look at him, he's small, but he's rambunctious. Cardinals, 6-0 all-time now in NLCS games. Mike Matheny also homered in this one, his first career homer in the postseason. It was his fourth all-season. The other three came in October. He's the only card to hit safely in seven straight playoff games. Chuck Finley earns his first career postseason win after 200 regular season wins. The Giants 0 for 8 with the bases loaded this postseason. We had to win this game today to make it a series. I mean, you go down 3 nothing. we would be brave and all that stuff out here tomorrow, but it would have been really tough. So what we've done with a win is we, you know, I think we've made it a competitive series, but they're still in charge. And we came out early and we didn't really know what we were doing. It didn't look like, you know, we got guys chasing the ball over the place and throwing to unoccupied bases, but we ever got through it. And uh, Chuck settled down. He gave up that one big hit to Barry, but other than that, he pitched great. And then our relievers came in and did what they've been doing all year. We were fighting back and fighting back, and they kept holding us off and holding us off. And, uh, you know, we just, couldn't get that big hit today. Three homers on Saturday, seven different cards have now hit it out in this series alone that ties the league championship series record and is one shy of the all-time playoff record. In fact, for the Cardinals, Andy Ben is trying to sacrifice Blunt for the cards up 2-0, but Benito Santiago, the three-time gold glove winner with the full extension. Bottom six, still two nothing cards, one on, one out. Venice gives Bonds the unintentional, intentional walk, and the fans, I think, voicing their opinion. Rick White on for the cards. He was picked up on waivers from the Rockies earlier this year. And he gets Santiago looking. Two outs. Next batter, JT Snow. It is deep, it is playable with two men aboard. Off the top of the wall, Jeff Cannon Bonds the score. And J.T. Snow, with one swing of the bat, has tied this game up. Top eight, tied at two. Two outs, runner third, Tim Worrell. Gets Mike Matheny to pop out. And the threat. And we move to the bottom of the eighth. Cardinals just two for 17 with runners in scoring position. Two outs, nobody on. Tie score, and White intentionally walks Bonds to bring up Benito Santiago. Here's the pitch. Santiago hits a high drive to left. This one is way back. It is out of here. White deflated after the pitch. Santiago twisting on that home run swing. A little body English. He knew it was gone. Oh, there's still more drama in this one. Top nine, one out, two minute board. Rob Nen against Jim Edmonds. Edmonds, clutch. The base knock. Kerry Robinson scores, but Fernando Vina is held at third. Next up is Albert Pujols. Last year's rookie of the year, and he goes down. Two outs, and it's J.D. Drew. Can Rob Nen put the Giants up 3-1. to one. Vina still at third. And that would be it. Giants win it 4-3. to three. Bonds one for two. Two runs, two walks. He's batting 308. Ten runs, 13 walks in the postseason. Giants lead the series three games to one. Levon Hernandez, his teams are 8-0 lifetime in his postseason appearances. Giants one win away from their first World Series appearance since 1989. That year, Benito Santiago was playing with the Padres. He was the hero in game four. Dream come true. Dream's coming true, and the sooner I hit that ball, I know I hit it hard. And what I remember is the time before that, 
they struck me out with the same pitch. And this time I went three two and I was looking for in a half and tried to put the good side of the bat in the ball. Been made such a big deal about Barry not getting pitches and, and being walked and uh, we have confidence from the guys in the middle and the bottom of the lineup that someone's gonna come through and uh, get a big hit. Santiago's 11 RBIs this postseason are second most by a catcher in a single postseason, along with Kid Carter, who had 11 for the Mets in 86. Calls time just when Morris is about to throw. He doesn't care. He remains steady and then promptly takes the ball Gary. and plunks his old buddy Kenny. Remember, the cards yeah. buzzed old Kenny's tower in game one, led to a bit of a ruckus, but he'll go down and take his base. Lofton now on third with two outs, and Barry Bonds, nothing. A little weak fly ball the other way. Morris handles him, a no-hitter through four. Bottom five, Benito Santiago on first base after a walk. David Bell, little blooper, not far, but it's effective, gets down. Santiago on his horse, but rounding third, headed from home. He runs into a brown-eyed handsome man. You can't do that to our pledges. Well, we can do that to our pledges. Look at it again. That's Miguel Cairo, sort of well well placed kind of got in the way umpire jeff nelson did rule obstruction but says santiago would not have scored so he goes back to third and your pitcher kirk reader grounds right back one three the out giant strand two top seven runners at the corner there is nobody out fernando vina lifting the sack fly the card stranded 21 runners in the last two games of the series they get one home here it's mike Matheny, and it's a narrow lead but a lead nonetheless one nothing cards bottom eight still one nothing Barry Bonds on deck. Matt Morris plunks Jeff Kent. A little soft curveball. He'll take that for the team. Now Morris and the infielder is going to talk it over because Barry is up next. Action in the cards bullpen, but they got the guys up late, so Morris going to stay in and pitch to Bonds. And he... Well, it's not huge, but it's far enough to get the job done. Lofton will tag and score. We are tied at one. Next batter, Santiago. Been on fire hitting behind Bonds. Not this time. Grounds out. We're going to go to the final inning tied at one. They might have more, you know. They play extras in baseball. Ninth inning, one out. Morris hitting. Tino Martinez available to pinch hit, but the skip stays with Morris. He strikes out. We got two away. Vina. Fernando Vina, a little base hit. Cairo then. See if he can bring him around. Nothing. Not fishing. Just looking at the hook. That's the end of the cards inning. We go to the home half. Now, there were two outs. What do you learn in Little League? Don't swing 3-0, and everything starts with two. David Bell, start things with two. Morris, staying in the game. Oh, you, you, you smell a ninth inning round. Sean Dunstan, one on two outs. And Dunstan, the veteran, crafty. There are no other kind of veterans, but crafty ones. That's down to center. Tony La Russa says, that's enough for my man. Eight and two thirds. Kid will get the last one for you. In fact, Steve Klein will. But lo and behold, with Barry Bonds watching, here's Kenny Lofton. Here's the pitch. Lofton swings. Here comes Bell, rounding third, heading home. Here comes the throw, and it's out there! And the Giants have won the pennant. The Giants are the champions of the National League. 2-1 Giants lead. Kenny Lofton 0 for 16 after getting in the dust up in game one. Three straight singles, the sixth, the eighth, and the ninth comes true. Giants into their first World Series since 1989, haven't won the series since 54. The Cards now 0-6 when facing elimination on the road. Bonds 0 for 2, but the big sack fly. Jeff Kent, how about this? 10 playoff games, 1 RBI. Still, they're going to the series. It's also why Benito Santiago was your NLCS MVP. Giant words now. I'm so proud of them, you know, because, you know, what they did was chicken s***, and that's just that. And, um, you know, I told them, keep your composure, dog. Don't let that bother you. Stay focused. You're, you're a cow that you're a key. You know, without you on base, it's going to be difficult for us. And, you know, he, he made it easy for us. We didn't come through. So he said, forget you guys. I'll just close it out myself. It's pretty exciting what happened in, um, in St. Louis. The opportunity of the fans booed, but, you know, now they can, you know, boo at home right now. Ooh, and some barbs for the cards as well. Over the last 45 years, this is the sixth matchup between two teams from the same state. You'll probably remember the last one, Subway.